This is Twit. Rosemary mentioned uh, setting default apps, so I was gonna. We'll show you how to do that really quickly. Uh, if you launch your settings app, you will scroll down until you find the email app that you want to make your default app. So in this case, uh, maybe it's Airmail. I will tap on Airmail here. And then I, uh, you can see down here at the bottom, it says default mail app. Right now I have Spark selected. Now it's important to understand that uh, app developers who are making these third-party mail apps will need to enable this feature, but it's uh, kind of a, it's one of those flip the switch kind of things. Um, so we will choose default mail app and you can see the four options. These are the mail apps I have on my device that are offering the ability to switch the default mail app. So I will, if I wanted to switch it to airmail, I would tap on airmail instead and then the system would know that's my default mail app. So then the next time I tap on an email address or another thing that would typically bring up uh, Spark as my means of sending an email, it would now choose airmail as the way to send the email. So it's a little weird that you kind of have to find one of the apps and do the default mail apps uh, setting there, but that is how you go about it. So again, launch the settings app, scroll down through the list of apps until you find the mail app you're wanting to use as your default. From there, down at the bottom, you'll see an option for default mail app, and then you just tap on the one that is yours. And as they say, bada bing, bada boom, you have your new default mail app ready the system will know and it can pop up that uh, compose field from the app that you're using as your mail app.